Hello, my name is Flick Swan and I am the co-founder of Sleek Technique Ballet Fitness alongside my beautiful partner in plies, Victoria Ma. And today we are at the Birmingham Royal Ballet Studios with principal dancer Celine Gittens to take you through the third in a series of Don Quixote inspired workouts. This is a mat focused workout, predominantly working on the core, but you'll also get the chance to work your full body as well as stretch at the end. So what are we waiting for? Let's get going. So we're turning to face the side of our mats. Hip distance apart with our knees and ankles. Take hold of your shins. Roll your shoulders back. Sit up tall so you're already feeling that tummy button to spine connection. We're going to start to draw the chin gently to the chest, releasing the palms to the sky. Rolling all the way down and just as the back of the head touches the mat, interlace the fingers, flex the feet, kick away. And then working the leg furthest from the screen, find an L shape. Lifting your upper body, place your hands on your thigh and lift the underneath leg, that is optional. We're going to start to press thigh to palm connection. Holding here to wake up that front panel of abdominals. Four more here for four. Keep pressing, resisting, arms working. Stay here, point your toes, don't drop down. Release your grip, take hold of your hamstring. Lift a little higher, nose to knee connection. Staying here, draw that tummy to the spine. Give me eight more here. Four, eight, seven, six. Lift a little higher. Four, three, two, one. Bring your knees and ankles together. Stretch your arms out, palms down. Let's push the air away. Four, eight, seven. Good. Breathe out. Four more. Two more. Well done. Knees come in, wrap around, give yourself a little hug. Flex your feet. Extend your palms again, lengthen everything out. And let's bring that same leg in again. This time pointing your toes, grab your shin. Bring your nose to your knee. And then develop the leg up, walking your hands to your hamstring, your calf, wherever you feel comfortable. Start to lower your upper body now. Releasing the leg, arms come to fifth. Start to lower that leg with control. Last thing to touch, back of the mat, turn to face me, well done. Come up onto your elbow. Extend your top leg, bend your underneath leg, sweeping your arm across, let's lift those hips high. Taking two counts, turn the wrist here, find your fifth, and then hover your hips, do this three more times. Good, lifting up from the underside of your body. Two more. Lengthen. Now last one, you're gonna stay up. Holding your fifth position, stay here. Let's turn that palm, bring that down the back, lift up and as you do, lift those hips even higher. Good, bring the hand to the floor. Options, extend both legs, come up onto your palm. We're just gonna stretch out this side of the body, open up the rib cage. Options, take hold of your head. Draw the ear to the shoulder, pull your tummy to your spine. Hand back to your mat. Bring this elbow and wrist in underneath your shoulder. Now you have options to bend the underneath leg or stay now in a full side plank. Lifting your top arm, we're going to rotate. Bring the arm down underneath your elbow and then back up, finding second. Two more. Good job, nice control, last one. Now you have the option to stay here or can you lift the top leg? Take the arm over to fifth and step and find a full high plank facing the opposite side of your mat, well done. We're going to bend our knees, send our hips back and then come back to plank. Can you do this, this time bringing the knee closest to the screen into your forehead? And then stepping it back, let's change sides. Again, draw it in. Good, let's do this a little bit quicker. Knee comes in for four. Give me three. Give me two. Last one. Hold your plank, hold it ladies. Beautiful, drop your knees down. Sit your bottoms back, sweep your legs round. Everything on the second side. So, find that hip distance. Take hold of your shins already, we're more engaged. Muscles more activated, start to go a little deeper in your roll down a little sooner. Find that sweet hovering spot, and then down you go, interlace, kick away. Okay, leg furthest from me, find the L shape, bring it up, and take the hands on the thigh, lift your upper body. Find that resistance and lift the underneath leg. Options, lower upper body or leg. Start to find that resistance a little deeper. Press thigh to palm, palm to thigh. Four more, four, three, two, 
One, well done. Stay up, point your toes. Release that grip, find your hamstring. Lift the upper body even more. Take hold of the hamstring for me. And then draw your upper body off the mat. Good work. We give four, three, two, one. Well done. Stay up, knees together. We're going to press away, double time, palms down. Give me a set of eight. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring your knees in. Well done. Squeeze. Good. And then lengthen everything away again. Beautiful work, everybody. Draw the leg furthest from me in. Take hold of your shin. And then again, nose to knee. This time we're developing the leg up. See if you can keep nose to knee connection, but do not push into pain. We're just stretching, lengthening the hamstring. Lower down. Release the arms up to fifth. Pull your tummy to your spine. Lower that top leg with control. Three, two, one. Well done. Turn to face me. Doing great. Bring the elbow under the shoulder. Extend your top leg. And then sweeping the arm across. Let's work our side bodies. Full circumference of our muscular torso. Lifting up. Then extending even further to your hover. Again, lift up. Extend. Options, you can take a full side plank. If you're feeling, you practice this workout. This is the last one where we stay up. Arm in fifth. Good, turn your palm. Sweep it down, up, and as you do, lift your hips even higher. Hand to the floor, well done. Extend both legs if you already haven't. Stretch out this side. Take the hand over the head. Options to stretch through the neck. And then from here, Bring that elbow, shoulder, wrist in line. If you wish, you can bend the underneath leg or we're coming up to a full side plank. Ready to take that arm under. Breathe in, breathe out. Here we go, sweep it down. Two counts. Come back up. You can do it, two more. Options to bring the underneath leg to the shin. Last one. Beautiful, stay here. Can you lift your top leg? Take the arm to fifth, stretch. Find your plank. Bend your knees. Come back through to your plank. This time, add your nose to knee connection. Step it back. One more time, the speed. Nose to knee connection. Good. Give me four more, please. For four, three, two more to go. Last one. Hold your plank. Drop down to your knees, sit your bottom back, and then lift your shoulders to your ears, and release. Well done. We made it to the stretch. Okay, come to face me. Well done, ladies. Let's cool things down, lengthen everything out. If you've put all three of our Don Quixote-inspired workouts together, then this is the juicy bit where you get to really relax. Lift the arms to fifth. We're gonna side stretch, bringing the arm inside the leg and taking your upper elbow up towards the ceiling, making sure not to twist down to the floor. Knees and shins face the sky. Bring everything back up, arm to fifth, second side. Lie that arm, it helps you to open up through that top shoulder. Well done, bring the arms to fifth. And let's take it forward. Knees stay to the ceiling, you may want to adjust. And if you're super flexible and supple in the body, particularly the hips like Selena as well and Victoria is as well, you may wish to wish your, uh, lengthen your hands forward and release your nose to the floor. As you come back up, use your arms to bring you up and then guide your legs in using your arms again. Take care of those hips, have a little hug. From here, extend your legs out in front of you. We're making a capital L shape with the body. Arms are in fifth. Now aim your chest for your shins and see if you can reach around your heels. Try not to let the knees bend. You're pressing them into the backs of the mat, sandwiching your body to your thighs, your nose to your shins. Roll all the way up, bring your arms to fifth, find that capital L shape. Release the hands down, tutu height demi bra, space under your fingers and release, sweep the legs round. Come up to face the side of your room. Knees under hips, tabletop position. We're going to drop the rib cage and look up, arching the spine. 
Now, as we did in our core work, bring the leg furthest from me towards your nose as you round out the spine. Now, step it forward. Use your hands if you need to. Knee and ankle connection. Beautiful, straight away, sweep your arms to fifth. Elbows wide, and this is a familiar position from our center practice. Back hand comes to your tailbone, front arm inverts, and you cambre. If you wish, you're super flexy. Hand comes down the hamstring, look up. And then port de bras, bring that back arm forward. Flex your front foot. Again, lie over that hamstring. So we prepped for this throughout all three workouts, as well as this workout on its own. We're gonna walk that front foot forward. Now you can stay in either of those stretches or you're joining us in a split. Using your arm strength, either side, equal weight. Doesn't matter how deep you are, breathing into this stretch. Sweep your legs to the side, bring them back underneath you. Let's take all of that on the second side. Knees under your hips, elbows, wrists, shoulders in line. Drop your rib cage, look up. And then round out, tummy draws in. Draw the nose to the knee, second leg. Nose to knee connection and then step it forward. Beautiful, bring the arms to fifth. Lift and then sweeping the arm round. Invert, combre, option, slide the hand down for a deeper stretch. Bring the arm down, well done. Second arm comes forward. Rock back. And again, you can stay here, lengthening the hamstring, or you're coming with us. Deep stretch, splits. Weight either side, slide that leg forward. Stay in your splits. Breathe. Well done, everybody. Sweep the body to the side. Bring the legs underneath you and tuck your toes. We're gonna roll up through the spine, one vertebra at a time. Turn to face me. Well done, everybody. Step your legs to second position. Take a breath in, finding that final balance. Beautiful work here. Everything cool and calm. And let's take our reverence. Well done, everybody. <laughs> well done, Victoria. Well done, Celine, and thank you both. Please do follow and subscribe both to the Birmingham Royal Ballet YouTube channels and to our Sleep Technique Ballet Fitness channels, where you can find many more tips on ballet, dance, fitness, and well-being. And we look forward to seeing you on the next one. Happy sleeping. See you soon. Well done, ladies. <laughs>